what's happening tonight and such. So, the Black Viking is back and not ready to react, but ready to sit on this throne of thoughts and answer your question. Hey, hold that thought for a second because I think my lighting is off. Let me turn this lamp on so I can get a little bit more light. Yeah, so one of you wrote me and you wanted to know um, if I'd ever been in a fight, what caused the fight, and what was the, the outcome. I haven't been in a fight since I was a child, okay? And one of the main reasons was because I wasn't an exceptionally aggressive child. Um, I was similar to the way I am now. Um, very fun-loving, you know, happy person. So I wasn't a very angry child. I had my moments. Um, was I in fights when I was a child? Yeah. Uh, won most of them, lost a couple to guys that were older than me. Um, one guy, I think he was, he was, he was the same, he was the same age as me. He beat me before. But, um, and I grew up, you know, in a town where that whole street mentality was, you know, you know, you had to be tough and all this other shit. But I never had to deal with the same stuff that most of the kids had to deal with because I stayed away from it. While the rest of the guys were trying to be tough and hard and running the streets and selling drugs, you know, and they, they were always getting into fights with each other, you know, always getting in fights with each other, guys from other towns and all that shit. I never had to worry about fighting. Um, and then once I got older, uh, there were times that I did want to get into fights, but when I got older, I realized, I was like, wait a minute, I can actually go to jail for this shit. I can actually be arrested. I could get hurt. They could get hurt. One of us could die. Is it really worth it to me to fuck this dude up? Or possibly get fucked up myself. And I was like, I was like it, it, it really isn't at the end of the day. The last time I can think of where I truly wanted to fuck somebody up was when I used to sell cars. And I had this one manager who was a piece of shit. Absolute piece of shit. And he had got on my nerves to the... To, <laughs> he was this far from getting fucking folded up like a lawn chair and I was going to put everything I had behind I can feel it now I was going to rock this bitch and I said I said to my other manager I said if he says something one more time I'm knocking him the fuck out watch me I'm going to and, and I think my manager knew from how I am that when Tyrone says he's going to knock you the fuck out it's going to happen because it takes a lot to really get me mad. I'm very patient and even-tempered individual. Unless you do something, unless you know me and you're doing something to intentionally piss me off, that's when I get mad fast because I'm like, all right, you already know that I don't like this. So you're doing this to fuck with me. So, okay, now you got a problem. You want a problem, you got a problem. But I... um. I once read that it's it's um, weak-minded individuals that constantly are the ones to get into physical altercations. Think of this for a second, and I'm not talking about guys that are fighters, and you know they're, they're they 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 literally go to the gym and practice and fight and all that stuff. I'm not saying that, um, although some of them are weak individuals, weak-minded individuals, and they 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 have no choice but to get there. Their, their, their fear and anger out through fighting. Not all of them are like that. I'm not saying all fighters are weak-minded individuals. Now, um, so what I'm saying is, for example, you ever been in those, <laughs> a, lot, a, lot of, a lot of black people know the guy I'm about to talk about right now. Y'all, you, you, you've all seen this guy, met this guy, talked to this guy. Most of you. So you ever been talking to a guy and um, you're kind of getting into a heated debate and 
you say something that really trumps him, and he'll say something to you. Well, 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 you know, we can always fucking fight. We can fight right now. Or uh, can you beat me? He, he, or he will run to that right away. Well, we can fight. Well, you, can you beat me? Well, I, I could knock you the fuck out right now. That'll solve the problem. They, they say something somewhere that's related to that line that I just said. They want to go physical with it. And um, it's funny that I recognize that men that cannot deal in words real really are weak-minded. Violence is only needed in really specific occasions. They really are, you know. Um, just like I believe a lot of the wars that we go into are a bunch of bullshit, you know. And I could, like I said, that I could get into that a lot of the stuff with world events, but I'm not. But because uh, my channel's not about that, but is I think it's a true act of strength to be able to come to a, 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 a um, I want to say decision. That's not the right word. Um, you want to just you, you could if you if two men grown men or young men can talk out their problem and just hash it out and agree or agree to disagree and not hurt each other that's a big sign of strength because i think um a lot of us have this i don't know maybe maybe primal uh instinct to just hit or hurt when we don't get our way or someone doesn't see it our way or we're jealous of someone or whatever it is that's what I think happens. I think a lot of these guys are jealous of other guys. Sometimes they get jealous. They don't like being trumped in the conversation or in the debate. In the debate. Think about it. People get into fights over the stupidest thing. People will fight from everything from a, a, a fucking quarter to a fucking piece of chicken to an Eagles game. You know, it, it doesn't matter. Like, people fight over some of the... Like, you fight... You, you've you gotten a fight over that. They fight over women. A woman that's playing both of them. You see the weak-mindedness of that? Like, at first, your pro, you know, you, you've got your pride and your man and your testosterone inside of you. Say you, you, you're seeing a girl, and it's your girl, and all of a sudden you find out that she's seeing another guy. Say so you run into them. And your first instinct may be at, at, at that primal rage to fuck him up. But the wise man is the one who stops and says, wait a minute. What are you doing with him? He says, I'm her man. I've been fucking her for seven months. Really? The wise man is the one who keeps the temper down, keeps that fire from raging and says, okay, well, just so you know, I've been fighting her for seven months too, but you can have her now. And you walk away. Now you saying that could stoke the other guy's fire. He might try to jump on you because you know, he's weak-minded, but if he's smart, if both men are smart, she'll be left there standing by herself because she's been playing both of you. And it's the dumbest thing in the fucking world for you two to start fighting over her who's been playing you. Women do the same damn thing. A guy's been long dicking them from the back for months, killing it. They meet each other in the street and now they want to fight. No, that's my man. No, that's my man. What? You are a weak-minded individual. Very weak-minded to let that control you. So, you know, now that I know that there's so many penalties for getting in altercations. I mean, I'm at a point now where, you know, I have a lot of strength in my body. I could hurt someone. They could hurt me. I could be sued, be fired from a job. I could be, you know, put in jail. Just all these different things that I don't fucking need. So in order to get Tyro Magnus into an altercation, you're going to have to really do some things. And they're going to have to be things that, you know, would cause me to see red or black out. I've only blacked out once and a woman did it. <laughs> I didn't I didn't do nothing to her, but a woman did it. And that's how mad she got me. And I still did not hit her. Cooler heads still prevailed. 
So, you know, um, I would say to you guys out there that if you really are quick to fight, stop that shit. It's, it's, it's stop that shit. Because, I mean, after a while, like, I think I'm when, like, right now, like, I understand street cred and being tough. And, you know, there's a certain amount of respect that a man wants. Uh, but you don't always have to take it or get it in that form or fashion. And, like, I know guys growing up that were the fighters, that were the fighters that were really good. And and nowadays, it's not like I'm like, oh, yeah, you know, he's, he, you know, he, he's the man. You know, it, it's not like that. Like, all the guys that I know that could fight are bums now that I know of. You know, if I haven't, you know, uh, re-upped with them and seen their progress lately, then, you know, okay, maybe they've become good people. But And then the people that always respect you over that don't have high standards in the first place, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Unless you, like I said, unless you come from, you know, a town where, you know, boxing is big and everybody boxes, and then that's different. And it's like, oh, well, yeah, you know, yeah, oh, God, he was the toughest son of a bitch in the ring, and, and it's different because he's part of your culture. But if it's just beating people up and stomping people in the street, knocking motherfuckers out, running their pockets and all that type of shit, that's nothing good. Why you want to respect a man like that? You get what I'm saying? Like, you look at Mike Tyson, I can definitely respect him as a fighter, um, but, you know, he's a little hood, you know, a lot of hood. I mean, you know, he tells his story. You know, he was a knucklehead, you know, and uh, he found out he could fight because somebody, you know, killed one of his pigeons, tore its head off, and he just fucked him up with a bunch of overhand rights. I remember listening to that, you know, and uh, but he took that talent and did something with it. And that's another thing, you know what I mean? That is another thing that I want to talk about. There's guys out there that I know that, you know, they just think they're the toughest son of a bitch in the world. Well, if you have this talent and you're so tough, why don't you make a fucking living off of it? I mean, a legit living off of it. Why don't you start, why don't you become an MMA fighter, become a boxer, a kickboxer, whatever it is. Why don't you do something with that talent? Instead of drinking 40s all day, smoking weed all day, drugs, and whatever else it is that you're doing or selling, and claiming to be tough. Do something with that talent. Leave all the illegal shit to the side. Throw it away. Do something with your talent to where you can give back to your community and give back to your family and take care of your people. Why would you... I, I, don't, that's, I don't get that shit. They only know their one square mile block or whatever it is, the bubble that they fucking live in. Do something with your life and your talent. If your talent is hand-eye coordination, strength, and speed, and you want to use it to go into boxing, although I am um, uh, entertained and can respect boxing and other fighting sports, I never would want to be in it. Personally, because I'm afraid of hurting or killing someone, I don't think I could deal with that on my conscience. Whether we both understand and respect the fact that that could happen, I still don't think that I can deal with that. And I know that fighters know that. It's like, okay, it's a competition sport. We both respect each other. And if one of us gets hurt or broken or crippled or dead, we both knew that risk. I understand that. I still can't deal with that, knowing that I've taken another man's life or crippled him for life. And even if I got fucked up or crippled or punch, or punch drunk. But if that's what you want to do and you want to give back, go ahead and do that. Okay, it's legal. Go ahead and do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, and I know there's always that discussion of whether everything legal is right and not. And I, I understand, but I'm just trying to make a point that instead of running the streets and fighting people, knocking people out, and robbing people, and whatever it is else that you're doing with this talent that you supposedly have, why don't you find out who you really are and get in the ring and get some real professional training and do something with that talent? So, that's all I'm going to say about fighting. I am not a fighter. I really am a lover and a man of peace. Uh, if I were Chinese, I would probably be uh, somewhere between a monk and a businessman or both. You know, I, I would probably be this man of peace and meditation and breathing, yet exceptionally fit, knowing how to de defend myself but never getting into all, any altercations because I don't have to. It doesn't excite me to fuck people up. Some guys 
that aggression is really inside of them. I mean, fights are exciting. I've been in them and I understand. But to that point, like some people like to hurt people. They love to hurt and dominate people. It's, that's not like me. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I will get my respect, but I'm not going to get, I don't have to get it in that fashion. Understand? All right, Magnus Sites, I hope I have enlightened you and kept a whole bunch of you uh, uh, from getting in a bunch of fights that you don't really don't need to. And now that you are stronger in mind, you will be able to get respect the real man's way. One million subscribers. Woo!